Now let us work around slicing in tuples. So the slice operator can be used to fetch a specific set of sub-elements. That is what we call slicing. We can achieve this with the colon operator that allows us to fetch multiple items also. Let us see an example. First we will create a tuple. So we created a tuple with four elements, four items and we printed it. That's it. Now what we want guys, we want to work around the slicing operator. Let us see what will be visible when we will be adding one colon to it. Let's see what will be visible. So by printing one colon, it displayed the rest of the elements except the first element. So we performed slicing. Now let's see what will be visible when we will be using the following minus one. So through this, the elements are displayed in reverse order since we used minus one. Okay. So at first Maradona is visible, then Neymar, then Messi, then Ronaldo. So completely opposite from the initial order. Now let us move further and uh, let's uh, use a range. I used one to two with a colon. Let's say what will be visible between one to two. The following is visible when we'll go for one to three. Let's see what will be visible. It displayed the following two and when we'll go for one to four it will display all these three. So guys this is what we did in the one two. This is the start index and this is the end index in the range. We are slicing so zero first first index is the following and second is the following. So it will include the search index and will exclude the last index. So only Messi will be visible here. Here it is. The same goes for the last one. One, two, three. One index, two index, third index. It will include the one, two, three. That is only one and two. And the right one, it will exclude. The ending index, it will exclude. That means it won't display the item under third index. So only Messi and Neymar is visible. This is how we can work around slicing in tuples.